everyone, it's Gracie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a paint with me slash plan with me video for my bullet journal for the month of February 2018. I'm starting off by painting my cover page. I wanted to make my theme for February very light and pink and almost romantic kind of for Valentine's Day, but I didn't really want to do the cliche heart theme, although that's super cute and I love it. For 2018, I really wanted my journal to be very outdoor kind of adventure theme. So what I decided to do for February was to go with a sunrise, pink sky, very cotton candy cloud theme, if that makes sense. So I'm working on my cover page, as you see me doing here, on watercolor paper and my gouache paints. I got the idea to use watercolor paper as the cover page from Jenny Journals, and I will link her channel down below in the description. She's super inspirational and her art is gorgeous. And I love the idea of being able to include paintings in my bullet journal, but the pages in the Loic term, I know I pronounced that wrong, 1917 bullet journal, are, you can use them for watercolor, but they're certainly not completely conducive to paint, only because it's not specialty watercolor paper. So there can be some wrinkling involved. So when I saw Jenny use watercolor paper in her journal, I thought it was a great idea and I decided to do that myself. So that's what I'm gonna work on here. Now throughout the video, you'll probably see some changes in the lighting. The sun kept going in and out from behind the clouds, so I apologize. But I hope that you enjoy this video and I will be back on in just a little while after I'm finished painting to walk you through how I set up my journal for February. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I plan on doing these plan with me videos every month, as well as maybe doing some occasional videos with some different tips on bullet journaling that I've learned along the way. Also, if you click the little bell icon down below, you will be notified whenever I post something new, so you'll be one of the first to see it. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, what you like to use in your bullet journal, any ideas that you have, or future themes that you would like to see me paint.
here is my finished cover page for February. To be honest, I'm in love with the way it turned out. It's perfect. It's exactly the way I pictured it. So to start off my monthly spread for February, I just took some very, very light pink wash paint and added it to the top of one of the pages. As you can see, there's a lot of wrinkling, but what saved me in this situation was the fact that that watercolor paper and glue was on the other side. So when I used the blow dryer to get it to be um, completely dry, the wrinkling basically disappeared altogether, which usually doesn't happen. It doesn't usually all go away, but in this case it did, which was great. I, to be honest with you, am not an expert by any means at hand lettering. That's one of the things I'm really wanting to work on this year. So I basically do a cursive-ish font. I don't even know what you would call it. It's just kind of my own little attempt at something calligraphy looking. You certainly don't have to be a calligraphy or hand lettering expert to bullet journal at all. It's something that I'm practicing with. So, you know, certainly not even close to perfect, but I'm definitely working on it. Each month I do like to do these vertical spreads where I write down the traditional bullet journal setup where you write the days of the week and then the days of the month. It makes the month at a glance in a list form, which is kind of handy. I don't utilize this a whole lot, but I do occasionally, so it's something that's nice to have. And then over here, what I like to do is put a teeny tiny month at a glance calendar. Um, I messed up originally when I put this in. That's probably why you see that I covered it up. I have a back page of this journal that I have already used to, in all honesty, cut up and paste in places where I do make mistakes. Mistakes are going to happen and you don't feel like you need to be compelled to cover them up every single time. But with little calendars and stuff where the dates are so specific, I do like to sometimes just take from that back page and cover it up if I make a really bad mistake, which in this case I did. So that way it doesn't drive me crazy the whole month. And my camera kept dying, so that's why it's kind of cutting out here and there. But I did add some star washi tape. And what I like to do is have a box for February tasks and a box for February favorites. And I do those every month. I also like to make myself a goals list because goals and tasks obviously are completely different. The rest from here is basically cosmetic. On, in all honesty, I kind of make this part up as I go each month just because I don't know how it's going to end up looking with my theme. So what I did here is I took some very light orange peach gouache paint and kind of wanted to give it an ombre effect there at the bottom to tie in the orange from the previous page. This is a really good example of the wrinklage <laughs> that happens when you use watercolor paper, watercolor paint with the paper in the bullet journal. Again, the fact that there was watercolor paper though on the other side and the glue made it to where when I blue, used the blow dryer to dry it, it took all the wrinkling out, which was very nice. So I was left with this kind of stained effect, but completely smooth. So that was, that was a relief, to be honest. So here is my completed bullet journal setup for February. Again, my camera died, so I didn't get to film the rest of me actually setting it up, but I'm gonna walk you through what I ended up doing. So this is what my finished month at a glance ended up looking like. Again, I have February written at the top and then my month at a glance in list form. And then I love this quote from Tuck Everlasting where it says, wake up with the dawn. So I wrote that in the little cloud. Of course, my February tasks, February favorites. I wrote a little scripture on some paper and cut it out with some scissors, included my Instagram followers and my goals. This is my brain dump page. And I just wrote anything, everything and splattered it with some paint. And that's a great page to write confirmation numbers or little notes to self throughout the month, anything like that. And of course, my February habit tracker. Just your very classic bullet journal setup for that. Next, what I did is I actually set up a weekly log. Now, I've never done this before, so this is new to me. I've usually just done daily, so I'm really excited with how this turned out. I, of course, have the little mini calendar to do. I have two lines a day where I can journal about each day in two lines. And, of course, I just left little um, prompts to myself at the bottom there to fill out each week as well. And then, of course, my daily log. I don't have a whole lot of things that I track throughout the day or that I want to remember. So my daily logs are pretty small. I don't need a whole lot of space. But this is basically my daily log at a glance where I can not only see each day, but the week in general. 
So that is my entire February spread. Honestly, you guys, I love the way that this theme went. The pink just, I don't know, it spoke to my heart. And of course it fits February perfectly combined with the orange. I just really, it came together probably better than any spread that I've envisioned. I just really like the way it turned out. I'm excited to try the weekly log and I will tell you all how I like that um, next month when I set up my March bullet journal spread. We'll see if that's something that I keep or not. But again, if you like this video and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe down below. I've really grown to love bullet journaling and honestly, it keeps me on track and helps me to get things done because part of the bullet journaling system is if you don't get something done, you have to migrate that task to a later date. So it's really, it's held me accountable and helped me to get so much more done and I love incorporating art. So thank you all so much for stopping by and I'll see you again next time.